Yeah, I, I think it went pretty much as planned. We've been thinking about this for quite a while and liaising with uh, Clive at Bailey Bloons and, and Anna, the team that are behind uh, the, the attempt uh, to do it and bring something slightly different and new to aviation. So, yeah, obviously something like this uh, is fraught with its difficulties and, and a bit of danger, but um, yeah, by going about it in the right way, then we can eliminate all those, you know, eventualities. The, the, the knife edge manoeuvre um, is um, one of the trademark manoeuvres of this aeroplane and my air show act anyway. So I, I do perform it at most air shows, either before the end or, or, or both. And so I'm quite familiar with the handling characteristics in that attitude. And it seems like a good opportunity to make use of the particular nuances of this aircraft and what we can do with it. Um, to you know, do a stunt like this, if you'd like to call it a stunt. It is, because I can only see one of the balloons. Um, when you're in that position, I can't see underneath the aircraft. So I just really wanted to passenger with my friend today, um, <laughs> as it is normally. But um, I wanted to be, um, if you like, in the centre, but the close side of centre to the um, passenger balloon, because I knew then that my belly would be clear of the Inanna balloon. But it's, uh, it's, quite, it's quite a daunting task when you're at the air, at end of the runway flying to, you know, towards, straight towards these two big hot air balloons. Uh, the gap doesn't look that big, but I, I know there's, there's plenty of room.